Yo, what's up, you two? Vileo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient channel. Today is May 8, 2018, my outing number 57 of this year. A story short, yesterday I was just scouting some fishing locations and I came across this little creek that had like a school of 10 to 15 carp, common carp, the Cyprinus carpio, in it, right? So immediately I thought, man, this is a nice hole to do some <laughs> to do some fishing, right? So I'm back over here today. I got my Calamus ultralight rod with me, the Casking Calamus, right? That I introduced to you guys here on the YouTube channel a few weeks ago, I believe. If you haven't watched that video yet, I would recommend. I'll link it in the cards. We're going to do the traditional corn approach, all right? Just one little tiny hook with a split shot. We're gonna do some creek carp fishing and see how the Calamus will perform with the common carp. Now, because we're fishing for carp today, and as you guys know, the common carp, you know, pound per pound is one of the strongest freshwater fish out there. Instead of the Shimano Sedona 500 FD, I decided to go with my Casking Sharky 2 1500, right? All beat up. <laughs> and I'm using Casking Fuller Coat 8 pounds test line, all right? But with the setup right here, hopefully we're going to catch some carp today. The school that I saw the other day, most of them were pretty small, but there were like three jumbo carp, you know, five pounds plus. Can you imagine? catching one of those with this little rod right here it's a blast right so let me get to the fishing spot hopefully we're gonna land some fish in this video stay tuned this video should be good <laughs> folks i know it is a little bit noisy you know we got a waterfall right in front of us over here so bear with me okay but this is what we're going to do today we're going to use the corn approach I'm going to link a video here on the card so you can go check it out and learn how to do it. But pretty much what you do is you get your whole kernel of sweet corn, two pieces, put it on the hook, chum a little bit, and let the fish get close to you. That's pretty much what you're going to do in this video. So there we go, huh? one piece on a size 10 hook. Two pieces, you know, I already chum a little bit down there and pretty much you just chum your rig, one split shot, one small hook, right into the chummed area, just like this, Woo! You don't need to do the special effects, okay? <laughs> there you go, man, and then you just wait, that's the game. All right, there's one coming from the right, come on, get it, boy, you can do it, you can do it, there's one coming from the right. Oh, 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 he's getting there, he's getting there, he's getting there. Oh, I missed it. No, I missed it. Oh, fish on, fish on. Small one, small one. Wait, what is this? That's not a carp. What is that? What is that? That's not a carp. What is this? Dude, that's a trout. I think that's a huge trout. Are... No, that's a carp. That's a carp. All right, never mind. It's just a small carp, small, small carp. Ay, 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 when he gave the jump, man, I thought it was a trout, you know? Just a feisty little carp. Now, we need something bigger than this. You see, the Calamus can handle this. We need something bigger than that. Ah! All right, so there we go, huh? First fish of the day, beautiful little common carp. I gotta unhook it over here and release it. Beautiful, powerful fish, but way too small for what we're looking for, yeah? All right, so there we go. Huh? Before I release it, first carp of the day on the Calamus ultralight rod. Very, very small one. We just gotta release this one, no photos. No photos necessary for this little guy here. Oh man, he was ready. Oh, there's one coming, there's one coming. 
There's one sucking. There's one sucking. Get it, get it, boy. Get it, get it, get it. Got him. Oh. Oh. What in the world, dude? Took my hook. It took my hook. Let me tell you. I ain't playing no more. I'm tying a double reinforced clinch knot right here so that I don't lose my hook again. I think my knot was too weak, you know? But now, look at that. Oh yeah. I gotta go down, put this split shot on, you know, man? We gotta go catching. Fish on. Fish on. Oh man, another small one. So small. I mean, it's putting a beating on the Calamus, but <laughs> this one is even smaller than the previous one. What? Oh, man. This is a baby, man. Ba baby carp. Baby carp. Look at this. Don't even, don't even need a net for this one. Look at that. This is truly baby carp right here. Ay, ay, ay. Well, all right, second fish of the day, a little baby common carp, okay? Man, there's some big ones down there, you know? We need to go catch the bigger ones, not these. Okay, come on. That, I mean, this is a beauty though. Don't take me wrong. It's a beautiful fish. Fish on. Ah, uh, another small one. Why so many small ones? What? This is a baby, man. Ay, ay, ay. Baby. Look, this one I can lift. I can lift. That's how you know it is bad, folks. When you can lift the carp out of the water, you know. Look at that, dude. This is a baby, man. This is one of the smallest carp I've ever seen. All mango too, look at that, wow. Anyways, you know, a fish is a fish. I'll take a shot at this one just for the fun of it, you know, and then release it. Well, all right, this is gonna be one of the cutest common carp that I have ever seen, all right? Baby common carp. There are like two or three giants down there, but I don't know, man, they're just not biting. Anyways, let's release this guy over here. Ooh, a little bit muddy, but whoa, you okay there, buddy? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> all right, he's good to go. <laughs> There's like two or three down there that is like big, you know, but so finicky. Fish on. Ah, uh, small one. Another small one. Ay, ay, ay. Today is the day of the baby carp. Let me tell you that much. The big ones, so finicky. They're not biting at all, but the small ones, man, the small ones are on fire. Look at that. I don't know if we're gonna be able to show the worth of the Calamus with these small ones, you know? <laughs> but hey, I'm catching some fish, you know what I'm saying? I'm still having a blast. Better to catch a few than to catch nothing at all, right? Hey man, I still, I still hope we catch a big one though, but I mean, it is what it is. Creek carp fishing, right? Let's release this guy over here. All right, carp. All right, you can go back, all right? Oh, full of energy, full of energy. Yeah. Man, so tiny. Oh man, this is crazy, yo. Today was like the day of the baby carp. Nuts. I can't believe it. You know, there were three real nice carp down there. Bigger than five pounds. I think the biggest one was in the range of 10 pounds. But as you guys saw in this video, man, that was the first fish too. That was one of the nicer carp that I hooked. <laughs> Took my hook, right? And after that, the carp, the big ones, just got so finicky. It was crazy. It, it felt like the first carp took the hook, 
and he just went back and told all his friends, you know, like, oh, guys, you gotta be careful, you know, because there's a crazy Asian dude up there trying to catch us. And then the other two big carp, together with that one, just never came back to the chum. It was really, really nuts. You know, carp is a species of fish that a lot of people underestimate. People think, you know, hey, carp, trash fish, you know. I hate that trash fish terminology, right? Because they're such a beautiful species of fish. But for real, a lot of people underestimate carp. They are very, very finicky, super, super smart. The bigger they are, harder to catch. This is no joke. I was using fluorocarbon line today, you know, wishing that I could have fooled them a little bit more, but it was just a tough, tough day on the water. As you guys saw, the small ones, you know, they are a little bit more ignorant, right? Because maybe because they haven't been caught and released so much. So they were willing to play with us, but the bigger ones. So uh, that's why I always like to tell people out there, right? Sometimes you only get one opportunity with this fish, one opportunity. And you miss that opportunity, you miss that chance. You just call it a day. You got to come back tomorrow. You know, that's what happened with those fish today. Those three big carp after that first one took the hook, never even came back to the chum, man. They just went far away from the Asian folk to chill. <laughs> but anyways, at least we caught some fish in this video, you know, four, four common carp is better than nothing, right? At least I didn't get skunked. The corn approach did work. And the calamus, although the calamus didn't catch some big fish, you know, the fish still put a nice bench on the rod, on an ultra light setup, even the smallest of the carp feels really good right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't worry i will redeem myself we're gonna do another one of these videos soon and hopefully in that video the calamus will catch a bigger carp okay but for today this is pretty much it so tie lines folks i'll see you next time Okay, all right, all right, Leo, don't give up, don't give up, Leo.